boys and girls, it is so good to see you guys again here in the zone. My name is Mr. Isaiah, and as you know, for the past few weeks, we've been talking a lot about animals. And speaking of animals, as you can see, there's one right here in my hand. You may not know what it is, but this is a snake. And the good news is, is that it's actually a little bit more afraid of me than I am of it. And I'm okay with that. But did you know that snakes actually live on every single continent? That's a lot of snakes. And did you also know that snakes are able to eat so much food that they can actually burst? Have you ever eaten so much food that you're like, oh, I'm gonna burst? Well, snakes actually do that. They really do. Well, outside of snakes, there's one animal in particular that I go crazy for. It's a lion. Oh, I love me a lion. Raise both hands if you love lions. Wow, that's a lot of you guys. Now, what is it? Is it because of how strong they are? Um, oh, their sharp teeth? Uh, because they run fast? Is it the cute cubs? Or is it the loud roar that they let out from time to time? You know what I'm talking about. And at the count of three, I want you guys to give me your best lion roar. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! That was good. I've learned that lions also have something very special about them. Do you know what it is? It's that they have a very strong family bond. This made me take a step back and think to myself, I wonder how much I'm willing to help my family. And I'm sure you're wondering the same thing. Maybe you think that about yourself. Raise your hand if you love helping your family. Nice! Now, while I was thinking about what it means to help our family or to go out of the way for them, I was reminded of a story in the Bible. And it includes two sisters named Mary and Martha. Mary and Martha lived in the town of Bethany with their brother Lazarus. And one day, sadly, Lazarus got very, very sick. And they did their best to take care of him. As a matter of fact, it got to a point where they knew they needed to get help. So they sent for Jesus, so he can come and help them. But sadly, once again, Jesus didn't show up until four days after Lazarus had died. Mary and Martha felt as though that Jesus had let them down, but what they didn't know was that Jesus had a better plan. This is where it gets good. Martha looked at Jesus and told him he was too late, that her brother had been dead for over four days and he was for sure very, very stinky. Jesus looked at her and said, didn't I tell you that if you believe you would see the glory of God? They removed the stone from the tomb where Lazarus laid and Jesus called Lazarus to come out. And guess what? He did. Did you hear me? Lazarus was raised from the dead. Mary and Martha were so excited, so happy to know that their brother who was once dead was now alive again. I'm sure there have been times in your life where you have gone out of your way to help your family and it just seemed like it didn't do much. The moment that you help your sibling do their homework that's really hard for them, or the moment that you helped your little cousin tie their shoe, but it didn't seem like they understood, or maybe it was a prayer that you had for a very close family member. And you know what? You still haven't seen it answered. Either way, you've done something that caused you to go out of your way and you're still waiting for things to be fixed. You're still waiting for answers. You're still waiting for Jesus to show up. I'm here to remind you that God's timing for all that he does is so perfect. Just like lions, they know they can't go through life without the people closest to them. And we should be able to do the same. No matter what the problem is, just like Mary and Martha, we need our family and our family needs us. Why? Because we belong together. That leads us to our big idea. I need everyone up on their feet. You ready? One, two, three. We belong together. <laughs> Great job, guys. Well, at this time, it's time to get with your group leader and friends and talk about what you learned today here in the ZTV. And before you guys do that, don't forget your Bibles, all right? So go ahead and stand on up, grab your Bibles, and let's get ready to group. You ready for this? We're gonna count together. Okay, count together, ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> 